Hello there, welcome to this video. This is a tutorial for beginners and I'm going to show you how to place your baby picture here in the background. There are tons of ways to do it but I'm going to do an easy way for you. If you don't know how to do it, I hope this is useful and you're happy with your results. Okay, we are in Photoshop and we opened our backdrop and our baby's picture. We are going to drag it with the move tool, which is this one. So you are going to click on your baby's picture, click it with the left side of the mouse, drag it to the background, and let it go. Then you are going to move the baby picture, which is here in the layer 2, and you are going to move it to, the, to down under the layer 1. Now you're going to go to edit, free transform and you're going to adjust the size of the baby picture. You can touch any of these points and you can uh, make it smaller. Okay, this is too small, I want to make it a little bit bigger. And you place it here and adjust it, you can turn it a little bit and continue adjusting until you're happy with the results I think I like this position so we're going to click here in this part and as you can see the hat from the backdrop is bigger then our baby's face so we need to adjust it we there's a lot of ways so we can just fill it up this part or we can just adjust the hat to fit baby's face and I'm going to do that option so make sure you are in the backdrop layer which is this the layer number one click it then you will go to filter, liquify and now we are going to be working in our backdrop it doesn't matter that you see the baby's face it's not going to affect it so now you need to click here this fair option you are going to choose a big brush I think this size is good you can adjust the size here in this part I want to choose about a thousand and six hundred pixels and then I'm going to push our hat to the right like this I'm going to push it push it a little bit on this side make the brush smaller and continue adjusting here here, here, and you can even adjust the bottom here on the chin to better fit the baby's face, like that. I think the hat is a little bit close to the eye, so I'm going to adjust it to here a little bit. So I'm happy with the results, I click OK. Now there's other thing that we can do that is matching colors from our, our backdrop with our baby. I think the colors looks, looks OK, it doesn't look um, so different. But anyway I'm going to do it, I'm going to position myself in the baby's layer which is the, the layer number 2. And then I'm going to go to filter, neural filters. Then here I'm going to choose harmonization. You need to click it here. Then you're going to choose the layer that you want to use as reference. Click it here and choose layer 1. Now it's working here. 
it says processing on device. We need to wait until it finish. Now this is the result that it gives me. This was the before and this is the after. I don't really like the result so I can adjust the strength. It was 75. I'm going to do 50 and see how it looks. I think I like this better. I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to click Command D to deselect. Now we're going to add some shades to the baby's face. We position here on the baby's picture. Click in this part and choose curves. Click here in this part with is the finger and then click on the baby's face and pull it down. Now we're going to curves here in the mask, click it and click command I, go to the brushes here, check that you have the white color in this part, click here to select the size of the brush, I think the size is fine and I'm going to choose hard round this and in the opacity I'm going to select a hundred percent now I'm going to paint around the baby's face like this because it needs to have a shadow around so we're going to paint around here this part of the face should have a um, thinner shadow and in this part of the face should have a wider shadow like that then we're going to click filter blur Gaussian blur and we're going to move this part the radius is 7.4 right now in my computer so we're going to move it to increase it a little bit I like that so we're going to click OK and if you think this is too hard you can adjust it from here in the opacity we're going to put down a little bit so that's better we're going to make another layer for shadows so you're going to click again here and choose curves again then do the same, you can use this, the finger, or you can just move this part down like this. And we're going to the mask here and click Command I to invert the mask. We're going to do the same process. Check that you have your brush selected, white color, you have a a small brush and you are going to paint again here around the baby's face or the baby's hat here and again we're going to click filter blur Gaussian blur and we're going to adjust the radius now in this case I'm going to choose I'm going to choose that 36 click OK and then you are going to adjust the opacity right now is a hundred percent we're going to go down I think this is good 60 percent I think that's everything for the shadows now we're going to give an overall color to the whole picture you need to position yourself on the backdrop layer here the layer number one and then click here this part and choose color lookup click it then you're going to click here in this part 
and I'm going to choose fall colors click it I like this but it's too strong so we're going to go down in the opacity you can put all the way down to zero and then you can start adjusting a little bit maybe this is good for me then you need to save your file so go to file save a copy and then you can choose png i want to choose this and you can save it